Legendary EDM DJ Kygo once said, there's just a completely different vibe at festivals. And with the thousands that happen every year in the U.S. alone, you're sure to find something just for you. I've been to many of them. Now I'm taking you with me. This is... A takeover is about to happen right here at Waldenburg Park. The NCAA Men's Final Four Basketball Championship is returning to Caesar Superdome, and with it comes a music festival all the same madness. That's right, along the Mississippi River, you'll find the March Madness Music Festival right here at Waldenburg Park, and they're coming back after hiatus, like many festivals, due to the COVID pandemic. But you know what? It's not easy bringing a big music festival like this to the Big Easy, and you know what? I'm going to show you how they do it. I'm joined by Rachel Downey, VP of Live Events for Warner Media. Now, I know you guys have been doing a lot of work here. How do you guys come together with this whole event? I mean, it's just it's just amazing. It's such a short amount of time. Yeah, well, we work very closely with the NCAA and the local organizing committee, as well as our sponsors, AT&T, Capital One, and Coca-Cola. And we work for about 18 months to kind of find a location and then come up with a site plan, work with the local folks, and we, we work together to design the footprint of the, of the festival. But wait, what exactly is March Madness Music Festival? I joined Warner Media's Senior Director of Live Entertainment and Native, Andre Plessons, in front of the stage to find out. This looks like it's already coming together. I know everyone is very excited. For those folks who don't know, what is March Madness Music Festival all about? March Madness Music Festival is a three-day music festival. We've, this has been planned for over two years. So it is a big, big event, a big process to take this to come together, but it's been exciting. It's been a long two years for a lot of folks, I'm sure, but yes. we're excited to be here in the city of New Orleans. We, we uh, have the opportunity with the NCAA and the teams in the city to shine this weekend, so we're excited to be here and be able to do that. And we're so excited to have you back. Now, I know you guys have a huge, amazing set list that you guys have put together. Arcade Fire, Presentation Hall, Jasmine, from here. Tell us a little bit about how you guys come up with the set list. We want to have a wide range of artists. Um, so we're able to do that with Arcade Fire, have a local tie-in with Preservation Jazz Hall. Yes. Saturday, Coca-Cola with Khalid, a good lineup for them as well. I know everybody's excited about seeing Khalid, yes. And, um, also tying it back into the NCAA, like you mentioned, it'll be part of the Bridge Show, which is in between the first and second semifinal game. We'll be able to put it on, on the broadcast where people at home watching on TV will be able to experience the festival. Festival. Trombone Shardy opening up on Sunday, very exciting. Um, group Love, Macklemore, and then closing out with Imagine Dragons. It's a nice fireworks show on the river. And for years, the three day fest, starting with the ATT block party on Friday, the Coca Cola Starlight on Saturday, and ending with the Capital One Jam Fest on Sunday, has been free. You heard me right, free. It's an opportunity to um, come out here and enjoy themselves and listen to some great music throughout the weekend. Well, all I heard was free, Andre. That was the best part of it. That's, that's the most important part. But you you have to register to get in. Take a look at your screen right now. All you have to do is use this QR code to do so, and you're in. Enjoying the music, the food, and the madness on the scene at March Madness Music Festival. Woo. It should be an exciting time for everyone.